Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video I'll be talking about the Deloitte's Techno Managerial Round interview. So one of my students gave interview for Deloitte for Techno Managerial Round for a Salesforce developer role and I am just sharing her experience and uh, I'll be sharing questions and answers. Those who are looking just for questions can go to the description or the first pin comment and find out all the questions I have wrote. I have written all such questions and those who wants to see or understand the question and then understand the answers can uh, please watch full video okay uh, so Deloitte uh, is known to her take good interviews okay I have given multiple times and even my students are giving and Deloitte's techno managerial round is more of technical so normally techno managerial round goes into 50 for 50 percent category where you will get 50 percent technical questions and 50 percent managerial but Deloitte's techno managerial goes more into the technical aspects of it so you can say it is 70 uh, 30 or sometimes 80 20 as well okay so expect more technical questions expect more realistic project related questions expect the scenario based question because their main intention is to understand your overall experience and then see if you are able to justify your technical expertise with that many years of experience or not so the overall experience for this candidate was around three years and the question she got was good like like normal questions but then there were a couple of follow-up questions to um, cross check the uh, answers and uh, ask the follow-up questions okay uh, so after the introduction they started with admin related questions and uh, uh, the first question was what is the difference between what type of relationships we have in Salesforce and then what is the difference between lookup and master uh, detailed relationship. Uh, there were a couple of cross questions related to junction object and whether you delete a, a master and then uh, junction will delete it or not. So those sort of questions were there. The best way to practice those sort of questions is to practice that in your dev org and create a junction object and associate it with two master, one master, one lookup and then try to delete uh, master and see if child is getting deleted or not. Okay. Then second question was how security works in Salesforce. So how overall security works in Salesforce. Uh, this was the question in this question interviewer ex was expecting candidate to explain the security model of Salesforce and how layered security we have in Salesforce. So you needed to explain different layers available. You needed to start with uh, start with OWD and explain the different different levels we have on security. This was a question which gives you an opportunity to explain your knowledge and you know you can shine through these questions if you take these questions seriously and if you answer them the best way possible then obviously you can shine with these kind of questions these are kind of brownie questions you um, you hardly get nowadays because everybody try to ask these scenario based questions directly so if you are getting any theoretical questions conceptual theoretical questions try to answer it in best possible manner this is your uh, time to shine okay uh, then there was a scenario as well uh, so it was saying that I have a CRUD permission on case okay on my profile and there is other user which has same profile okay uh, so he also has CRUD permission now there is one case which I want to share with him okay OWD is private there is one case I want to share with that other user what are my options okay so here interviewer was expecting you to present all the options you think will be valid in this case uh, as the affected user is only one user manual sharing is a better way to do it but then you can present multiple option and then can choose or decide why you think manual sharing is a better option okay uh, then there was a couple of uh, questions related to apex sharing question started with I have a very complex logic to share a record with another user and it is not possible to do it via sharing rules what are my other options so answer was apex sharing and uh, you can explain how apex sharing works and what are the share object and uh, how it gets created what are the different types of permission available there so this was a kind of question see overall interview took one hour so interview ga interviewer gave enough opportunity to candidate to explain his things he was not looking for short answers or one liner answer he was giving you time to explain all those things okay uh, Okay, uh, then there was a couple of questions from triggers uh, started with what are what different types of triggers we have and then there was a logical question on 
how do you actually decide whether to go for a before trigger or after trigger so this again was an invoking question to understand your overall understanding about uh, uh, triggers so if you have to perform a dml on um, on the same object on which you have trigger then you, you will go for before otherwise if you have to perform operations on related object then you will go for the after context and then a question was how do you avoid recursion in trigger uh, what are the different options so here interviewer was expecting multiple option not just one static boolean variable option but multiple options so you can present multiple options like um, uh, you can have a framework to avoid that you can have a static uh, public uh, list as well uh, to avoid that and there are multiple ways to avoid recursion uh, most of the time candidate answer the boolean flag variable so that is why he was asking additionally what are the other options as well okay uh, then uh, there was again a theory question on what is the synchronous apex versus what is asynchronous apex when to go for synchronous apex versus when to go for asynchronous apex so from the question pattern you can see that he is trying to uh, see if you know the fundamentals of those things or not like um, most of the time we know that we can write batch but sometimes we even don't know when to write batch or when to choose triggers over batch or when not to write batch so he was trying to understand from that point of view that if you have given an uh, uh, an option or given a problem then whether you'll be able to present multiple solutions or not or whether you'll be able to distinguish between different types of solutions or not okay then there was a, a very generic question on can i call a batch from another batch if yes then from where uh, why not from there all that kind of questions i have already created a batch uh, video on batch epic so you can get this question there as well i have explained this in detail i will put the link in the uh, in the description then there were lwc questions how to send data from parent to child what are the different options available and vice versa how to date send data from child to parent okay and then how we can use a third party js file in your lightning web component so you can store it as a static resource and import it uh, then there was a question on what are the different types of flows we have in Salesforce and uh, what are the different operations available in the in the record triggered flow. There were a couple of follow up questions on record triggered flow like um, uh, like uh, what does Salesforce mean when we say that flows are bulkified by default. So flows are bulkified by default means that um, let's say let's say you uh, insert 200 records via a, a data loader then all 200 records will come in one chunk and if there is any DML happening. So what happens is that in, in flows you get one record inside the trigger inside the flow interview. So similarly there are parallel interview gets created by Salesforce and at the end if there is any DML happening then that, that happens as in the uh, one single DML uh, from all the interviews. So that is why it is uh, bulkified by default. Do let me know if you want me to explain that part because that is a bit tricky and sometimes people get confused on that. Okay. <clears throat> then what are the different types of integrations we have? Uh, so it was an open-ended question. It was on you to explain what types of integration you have worked on and uh, you can explain rest, so streaming APIs and everything available on the integration part. And then he asked what is the difference between rest and SOAP API. So I have created a video for the integration uh, questions. You can check that video. I have covered this, uh, but this was a normal open question. Uh, he gave a trigger written, writing a trigger scenario, which I have covered on one of my shots. So it was simple. We have enabled email to case. So when, every time we get a case, in Salesforce, there is a email field on case which copies the customer's email ID. Okay, now your task is to check if we already have a contact associated with that email ID. If yes, then associate that contact with this case. If not, then create a contact and then associate that contact with this case. So this was a simple trigger scenario and uh, approx time given was around 15 minutes but you can you can write it down it's it's a normal easy trigger scenario so there were also a couple of project related questions like how many people are there in your project and how do you handle the sprint and uh, how do you get the user story who decides to uh, who will get what user story who will do the story pointing 
so those were managerial questions but it was mostly into the technical aspects of it and interviewer was focusing more on uh, you know finding the uh, actual experience rather than asking uh, uh, straightforward questions so he was digging questions and uh, trying to ask questions which will invoke the understanding so this was the experience do let me know if you have any question related to any of the um, any of the questions i have uh, presented in front of you and feel free to ping me in case of any doubt thank you everyone feel free to uh, 